But uh, with, with, with cultures, like, for example, there's a practice in certain places of Africa where they cut the clitoris of the of the girls. Which oh, it's like a horrible yeah. thing, right? But that's a cultural thing. Like, how far do we take, like, do we say, okay, no, we allow this because it's traditional, but from here on, no, because we need to progress too. I don't know, man. Because that seems like... That's pretty serious, Did I shift right? that from fun and games to like... <laughs> that is like pretty fucking serious. <laughs> ONG was good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to um, look into... <laughs> why why they... Googling why? this? In the cast? Yeah. Well, in, in, in that case... <laughs> in that case, you gotta respect no. the woman, right? Like, she can't... I'm just gonna mutilate her. Because I'm trying to like understand like like why... Why was why is this being done? I think it's a religious thing. Yeah, it's a religious thing. Like, cause like, you shouldn't be able up. to feel pleasure or some shit. Like, or like, I don't know. That's that's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. I mean, this, I think do so. women? I mean, it's gonna sound like a dumbass question, but do women agree to this? Yeah, yeah, they sign a fucking release form. <laughs> no, because they are in the religion, right? And they're like, I mean, the, the, you know, this, this is the problem. Is the sacrifice that I need to make. A lot of them, from from what I understand, I might be talking shit, so I'm sorry. I don't want to offend anybody, but. From what I understand, like when you're grown into that culture, it's sort of you don't really have the you don't even come you don't even have this thought of like do I have a choice here? No, like I do it willingly because to me this has always felt like the right thing. So it's almost like in my experience or my, my experience in my opinion, <laughs> oh it almost feels God. like <laughs> it almost feels like I, they're trapped. I don't like they don't know about you know like even if they are willingly doing it. And I'm not sure if they're making that choice, really. Does that make sense? Yeah, because they've been influenced for so long that they feel like they don't have a choice. Yeah, exactly. It's almost like women that are like are hit by their husbands, but then they're like, uh, "No, no, no. He's, he, you know, that 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 day I just wasn't I didn't <laughs> yeah, put the, I had the pasta right. You know, I didn't put enough Parmesan cheese. You know, which I hate. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's I harsh. Hate that shit. I'm, I'm putting in the keeps. I'm putting in the keeps right now. Mm-hmm. A oh, sorry, I didn't see it there. That is that is the toolkit that they use for for that process. Damn. Fuck. And, and you I, found the toolkit. It almost you found the like, toolkit like like a like a <clears throat> gonna cook crack or some shit. <laughs> but it's way worse. It's way worse. And then I'm also going to share a You can link. probably get that on Amazon. You get into it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Hey, I'm going I'm to I'm top off on the wine. Can you continue to talk and be entertaining? Like, this is part of my, like, <laughs> this is my career. <laughs> this, is part, this, is your, this is your job now. <laughs> His livelihood. His livelihood depends uh, on it. Damn. But yeah, but looking into the article, I mean, shit, like, um, like I, I'm trying to understand why. And it should say if it's a religious practice or not. Because if it is, then then that gets even trickier, right? Like, how do you go against the religion? Is it the government's job to intervene at that point? How do you even approach that? Yeah, because then are are you limiting the rights of the of the of the religion to act freely or whatever? Which is bullshit. And like, and and then if the if the woman is consenting, like, what what more can you do? Force them not to? Because if mean, you take like, what, 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 what you say? This is, I don't, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. I, I, I can just kind of imagine the reverse, like, like male mutilation, like, uh, like uh, us cutting off, like them cutting off the the head, or some shit. Circumcision? Yeah, no, no. Oh, you're saying like actually, like cutting off like the head? Yeah, okay. Because the whole the whole thing is that they're cutting off the sensory part. They're cutting off the the, the clit so that you don't feel. You still, no you still urinate. You still, yeah. This is only to reproduce. You're not gonna enjoy this. You will not enjoy this. <laughs> I, I'm not your husband, and you're not gonna enjoy this. <laughs> wow. I mean, it, it seems to me like it's archaic for for them oh, to for sure. still be doing this practice. Um, that hurts me in my soul <laughs> just to know that this still goes on. Um, Where does this happen? It, it sounds like it's in Africa, Africa. mostly. 
Um, but I think it's, I think it's also, uh, I mean, I might be saying something wrong, but I think it's also a Muslim practice more so than a uh, Catholic or Christian practice. Because I do see a lot of them with that the hijab in the picture. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking that it was like an indigenous tribe that would practice something like mm. that. Man, if it was the other way around. Oof. Equally brutal. I'm sorry, not not Muslim uh, religion. Uh, Islam. Muslim is the person. Islam is the religion. Well, you can't do it the other way around, right? Like, you you yeah. can, but you just won't. I I don't think you. I don't know. Because then you know. if you cut the, if you cut the males, cut the dick off, like, then you can't procreate. Right. Well, they cut the tip. In Jewish community. Yeah, but like we're saying, like if it was a. Uh, yeah, but you don't have to be Jewish for that to happen. And that technically still is considered mutilation, it right? Is. You know, you know the re you know the reason why it's common practice to have uh, circumcision in the U.S. because most doctors are Jewish. I'm saying that as a fact. Right. It's my assumption, but <laughs> I it, it makes sense. Hygiene. It makes sense. I thought it was just hygiene. No, that's fake. I'm not circumcised and I'm fucking clean. You piece of shit. But it, it is for hygiene. That's the. That's why people no, it do isn't. it. That's a myth. It's, it's for religious purposes. Both. Both. An excuse that people use to use it if they're not Jewish, of Jewish descent or Jewish tradition, is yeah, for hygiene. Yeah, they do because they've together. already been mutilated. But like, I haven't been mutilated. I, I, I clean my shit. I can give a tutorial on it. <laughs> <laughs> that'll, that'll be the next video. The, <laughs> how to clean smegma. Are you that? Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Well, more than clean smegma, I have no smegma. Okay. Right. Well, that's, that's um, good. Now, do you think, like, w are you guys comfortable enough sharing your circumcision situation? Are you more of the the Jewish side or? No, I'm not on the Christian side. You're more on the Christian side? <laughs> okay. Your mama made a good choice. What about you, BJ? Um, I don't know if I, if I should feel lucky or not, but I'm, I'm more, I'm not Jewish, but I'm more leaning towards the Jewish side, I guess. In oh, that really? Aspect. Yeah. Fair. That's odd. Yeah. So I you thought don't your mom was a Christian woman. He, so John, John doesn't have to clean. She is, but I are don't you, have to clean. Are you? You have to clean. I mean, that doesn't really. That's not a comfort. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and I it's still like, clean it. And because but... of this, I never clean it. It goes. Because uh, <laughs> the water hits. It goes away. Yeah. <laughs> Slides right. I off. think having the hood gives you more um, shelter. Well, more shelter, and and because of the shelterness of it, it's more sensitive to the attack. Mm. In your case, it's always open, you know, in the weather. So it's like in the weather. It's it's more like the it's more like the the back of a hump well where it's been like cut and like <laughs> it's had propellers run through it. While Oof. as if you have uh -huh. the hood, it's more like you have a little protector. It's sort of like a like a Convert. Palpatine from Star Wars, like mm. <laughs> <laughs> but, the but but then would mine be a little bit tougher? It could it could weather a little bit more resist, like it has more resistance. Yeah, to I mean, I, I, I would assume if you wanted to use it like as a weapon, but for <laughs> for, for, for for sexual purposes, I believe I believe you will be well, if, you will have erectile dysfunction earlier. If I if I go into that room with uh with Ronda Rousey, I gotta be careful, right? With the Ronda with the praying mantis. Oh <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> no, but but you, so, you like what I'm saying is you probably have erectile dysfunction earlier because you feel less. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And so, so you just get like. But at <clears throat> converse, like he also lasts longer then. That's true. So now it benefits him. Right. right. So like why you like, until, have sex? when he's sixty, yeah, yeah, when he's sixty, he won't be able to get an erection. But while he can, he will last longer. And Interesting. See, I didn't see it that way. So what I would recommend is at sixty, you get a vagina uh, installed, <laughs> and then just you know fuck around with that. See what the next forty years bring you. What if I? What if I? Uh, like for guys like me, you can do that. Didn't have a choice mm -hmm. to because mm -hmm. I didn't choose to get. Um, uh, my yeah, hood yeah, you were born with it. 
should I, should I develop a, 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 like a an attachment to help with that? Well, you should have like, like you should be part of a minority, like a, like a pseudo hood. Although for, you probably have majority in the U.S. and me and fear are the minorities. Actually, we should like be compensated for for some shit like that, like you know, being the non the hood ones. <laughs> like now, BJ, if the if the if the operation was available, would you get a rehooding? Like with like skin of the same I, I, tone I, and everything. I would like to. I would like to see what it's like, because I've never, I've never know what it's like. Having the. Never seen one. I might have seen one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, do you like it better? <laughs> or you just wouldn't know what it feels like. I'm saying for I, you. I would you like it better for it, you. I would. Wa- <laughs> I would want to know what it feels like having one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe you could get like a like one that you can put on and take off. That's what I'm saying. Like 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 create one rich- for people like me. Like you know, create a business where I I develop uh, hoods for people like me. Of the okay, Jewish descent. people like you. I mean, you, it sounds like a bit <laughs> of a Jewish descent. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying uh, of uh, like people like me in the sense of that how we're circumcised and never like. From birth and never known what it's that like. That were born in a, a hood. in a hospital where the general practitioner was a Jewish man. <laughs> uh, and they said, "This Latin boy will will know the you know the teachings of the, Judaism." Yeah, sorry, <laughs> I should have more information when I'm doing these jokes. <laughs> I should know more. I should know more. Okay, well that's good to know. I, I one of the things I wanted to get clear and clarify today is that you, like your penis situation. So that's um, well, that's thanks comforting. for that. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, great. Yeah, well, it's been a great experience. Um, anything that's else? Weird that they do it. You guys want to do it to touch on anything that's been fucking with your mind? It's weird that they do it to people that what? aren't Jewish. Because for don't you have to be of Jewish descent to be to be Jewish? Like you can't just turn into Judaism. Yeah, but I mean, having a circumcision doesn't make you Jewish. Right, but how does that I mean, practice even go into anybody else? You feel it? Right, but how does that even... Why would you... Like, well, have you ever asked your mom why she did it? <laughs> yeah, that's a comfortable conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I could ask why her you mean, like, if you want me to. But, can you um, ask her now live? <laughs> now live? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this would like this, this could this could be the clip that like takes my shit to another level. Yeah, <laughs> bring her in. And just ask her like like don't don't oh, tell her what it's gonna be about, I have, I have, and I just tell her you're gonna ask her. Okay, because I really want to know. Like, it's, I'm interested to know. Like, does she have a reason? She's like, oh, I wanted you to, yeah, it look bigger or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> More presence, or was it that the guy just had it in his hand with a with a scissor? Should we do it? Like. <laughs> Confirm. Maybe it wasn't even her choice. He just went for it. <laughs> He's like, he just, he just did it. And I was like, oh my God. What you did? Well, the excuses that I've heard for it is cleanliness. And it just takes after the father. Just what? Takes after it, the father? Yeah. Whatever your dad has is why they decide what you're going to have. All right. So she's That's not picking stupid. up. Um, all right, you may go get her. All right, just <clears throat> ask her later and and put it in the comments. It's not a big issue. I mean, <laughs> if you think you would make, <laughs> yeah, if you could get her, I mean, if it's not a big deal, then yeah, I mean, I think uh, that would be a good, uh, a, a good, good addition thing to clarify. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, I think it's important. This is the type of things, this is the type of like talk that we need to have in America. These days okay. to solve the situation and get the two sides united. <laughs> uh, Biden's in power. <laughs> we need to talk about scrotums and fucking circumcisions. We're getting down to it. And the next question, when he comes back, I'm going to ask him if she still has it. <laughs> the piece? Uh, like a memento somewhere, like hitting somewhere in, in a binder. A memento. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little fucking folder as she she got professionally made with fucking John Scrotum that nowadays should be like brown. <laughs> no, scrotum will be on your balls. This would be just like a piece of flap, like flap the, of skin. Yeah, like a little flap. Oh fuck, dude! They had that. In, they did that in Meet the Fuckers. And they were going through his book <laughs> yeah. and it came out and they ate it and shit. 
<laughs> All right, you we're think... getting down to the bottom as I saw her. Do you think your mom... Oh, fuck. We got getting it. down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> I think like in the US, you got to ask to not get a cut. Like by default, if you don't say shit... They'll ask you. You think? That? Well, I know. I have two boys. Oh, right, they right. Ask. You have experience. They asked you? Yeah, they ask. They ask could what you want to do. Could I ask what the... <laughs> Wait up. Hello. Hello. What do you want? ¿Para qué me llaman? No, porque... Que, ¿Me, van, que ya... ¿Me van a hablar? ¿Me van a hablar de Biden o qué? No, de Biden no. Vamos a... Vamos a queríamos preguntarte una, una pregunta. <risa> mira, mira. Eh, mira. <risa> no sabía que yo me, te iba a poner directo, ¿no? Ya me pone más... Más... Más tenso. Mira, no te... No te hagas el baboso. No mira te hagas el baboso. Que yo... Que, que yo... Que yo... Mira, John dice, John dice que él, cuando, que él, o sea, su, su, su situación genital es que le cortaron el gorrito cuando era pequeño. Y entonces, que, 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 que nosotros queríamos saber, porque eso, ¿sí? Ustedes, ustedes que tienen nada que ver conmigo, ¿ese es su problema de él? Claro, pero él no los contó. Entonces, queríamos saber si eso es algo que, que uno decide en el momento... O si es algo más de, o sea, de cómo fue esa decisión y por qué. Eso fue la decisión del doctor, no fue de nosotros. Ah. El doctor vino y nos dijo que era importante hacer esa operación a él ahora, en ese momento que estaba pequeño, porque no iba a tener eh, mayores consecuencias después. ¿Pero por qué? ¿Porque era muy grande o, <risa> ¿o qué era? <risa> creo, que, por, creo que fue decisión de él, no me acuerdo qué fue lo era que... Era judío el doctor. Nosotros. Eh, no, ese era nicaragüense. Ah, ok. <risa> el doctor Lacayo. Ah, ok, eso fue recomendación del doctor. Sí, no fue de nosotros. Ok, ok, perfecto. Bueno. ¿Y qué, ¿en qué ustedes <risa> quieren darle la pena a John Jairo? <risa> John no, Jairo sino que ahorita que estamos... Pero, mira, déjame decirle una cosa. Él sí. lo que es un vago y recostado, que lo que quiere estar aquí, que le hagan todo. Entonces, después no quiere que yo entre al cuarto, joder. Porque es que estamos ahorita grabando cosas que tal vez nos vuelvan famosos. ¿Cómo ustedes van a estar grabando cosas de John Jairo para que se hace famoso? Por favor, ¿ustedes no quieren tener una enemiga por tal? Para ustedes volverse famosos, dejen de estar pendejeando. Y vámonos para allá arriba, para Ocoa, para San José, para Santo Domingo. Vamos a hacer un proyecto turístico y dejen de estar en la televisión y en la computadora que se van a morir, ¿eh? <risa> ok, ok, tomamos el consejo ¿Se van a poner viejo? ¿No? ¿Quién, eh, eh, Adrián es el único que tiene como dos o tres muchachos Sí <risa> Todavía solo Adrián. con dos Solo con dos, por ahora dos, pero en, en, cual, en cualquier momento saca mira el tercero cómo, Mira cómo lo tienen Mira cómo lo tienen cargo En la cabeza y en el bolsillo <risa> Es así, es difícil <risa> Adrián, ¿cómo está tu mami? Bien, bien Gracias Ahí, tranquila. ¿Y tú? Nos quedamos en casa. ¿Y tú cómo estás en España? Yo estoy, yo, yo estoy bien aquí, la vida europea bueno, por está, ahora. Sí, ¿Estás casada? Qué va a pasar? Está, ¿Estás sí, casado? Ten, bueno, casi, 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 tengo <risa> casi esposa, sí. Ay, casi esposa, mira que son unos pan mamados. <risa> 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 bueno, anyway, eh, de todas maneras yo le, los quiero mucho, los respeto porque... Es, si son amiguitos de John, aunque ustedes vean el paquetero que le hago, pero es que le encanta todo ese rollo. Él ¿eh? no, es no. que me llama para que yo le dé cuando está hablando con ustedes. No, y a, y a nosotros no, no nos gusta cuando conversa con nosotros porque también la queremos y, y es ameno hablar. Gracias, que... gracias, gracias. Yo le hago un poco de paquete, pero bueno, ¿qué se va a hacer? Tú sabes cómo es. Entre, entre Johncito, Verónica y Mila quieren terminar de acabar con mi existencia los tres. No, no, puedo contar de, no puedo contar con el papá porque el papá de esos colombianos son... Ah, chao. Bueno, Para ese no hay espacio. Disfrútelo. Hay de uno meterse ahí, ¿oíste? <ríe> Salúdame a tu mamá y a tu papá, ¿ok? Vale, un besito.
Chao. Ok, igual. Bye. Lo veo por allá, por Santo Domingo. Vale, Santo Domingo. <risa> espero, espero que la pandemia no deje llegar. <risa> Eso ya nosotros también estamos digo cortando yo. tomate. Ya nosotros también estamos cortando tomate. ¿Oíste? Ya estamos cortando tomate Adiós. nosotros ya. Dale. Toma, toma, quítate tú de ahí, concha. Ya. 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 For people that don't understand the languages of the South American plains, uh, pretty much what I was explaining is that John uh, got his, the tip of his uh, of his penis removed by doctor's decision and recommendation. So it wasn't a religious decision. We wouldn't say that you're in the route to become Jewish, but no, no. But at the that time, really the maybe the the size or or thickness of it made it just more logical. To have that extra part removed and make it more fit in between the amongst the village men. Possibly, <laughs> maybe maybe the doctor at the time saw that that it was uh, the, the foreskin might have been too extended, like too out there, like an extra large hood. <laughs> right, could be because you know me. A lot of growing room. <laughs> <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't want to let it grow too much. <laughs> Okay, well that was yeah. that was weird enough. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's you know that's that's the type of stuff that we're talking about here. I mean, that's the the different cultures as you could see there, yeah. um, and, and that's that's the beauty of life, you know. The mixture. She was talking about your dad being Colombian and how he was hard on some things. So like you could see even between Latin people, there are differences. Uh, mm -hmm. The Caribbean people, like Venezuelans, Dominicans, more into the rum, more into the into the loud talking. Then you got Colombians and Equatorians on the other side, a bit more, not as loud, but you know. So you got different things going on there, and it's a big melting pot. But they all make tamales and they put something inside, and at the end, it's, <laughs> it's all wrapped in plant, plantain leaves, and they call it different things. But at the end of the day, it's just meat on a stick, right? <laughs> 